I have mixed feelings about Tiger Woods' apology. On one level, I like it. After he made his apology, he said things like this. I knew my actions were wrong, but I convinced myself that normal rules didn't apply. I never thought about who I was hurting. Instead, I only thought about myself. I thought I could get away with whatever I wanted to. I felt I was entitled. Now, I like what Tiger's doing here because he seems to be taking responsibility for his actions, and that's a good thing. When somebody makes an apology, we want to know that they are aware of the things that they have done and how those things have hurt us, and that they're going to pay, make necessary steps towards transformation. And I think Tiger is doing this. But what I don't like about what he did is that he took all of the blame upon himself. And the problem that I have with that is that this isn't just about Tiger Woods. This is about our whole culture. We have responsibility in this too. We have a way of putting movie stars, star athletes, politicians, famous people, even popular people in our everyday lives up on a pedestal. We tend to put some amount of transcendence on them. They're more than the average person. Tiger Woods isn't the average Joe. He's Tiger Woods. We divinized him. He's not just a golfing god, he's a cultural god. Why did Tiger Woods think that he could get away with whatever he wanted to do? Pretty much because we told him he could. He's an icon. In religious language, we would call this idolatry. We put some kind of transcendence upon him that we can't touch. We can't touch this guy. He's above us. He's beyond us. He's transcendent. And so the reason that he thinks that he could get away with these things is because we told him that he could. Now, what happens when he falls? What happens when we catch him doing, going beyond the boundaries? We demonize him. We say, this is all your fault. And Tiger says, yep, this is all my fault. It has nothing to do with our culture. It has nothing to do with you. It's all on me. And this makes Tiger into a willing scapegoat. He says, it's all about me. You don't need transformation. Our culture doesn't need transformation. This is all about me. I have a problem with this because it allows us to ignore the problems within our culture. Where did Tiger go? to fulfill his sexual fantasies. Las Vegas. What's the motto of Las Vegas? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Tiger Woods is just playing by the cultural rules that we've put in place. And when he, we catch him playing by those rules, we blame him and say he is solely responsible for this. Now, what I also liked about Tiger Woods and what people aren't really talking about is the spiritual part of his speech when he talks about Buddhism says this, Buddhism teaches that a craving for things outside ourselves causes an unhappy and pointless search for security. I think that Tiger Woods is not the only person who's on this unhappy and pointless search for security. Our whole culture is caught up in this search for false security. We try to gain security through material goods, through fulfilling some kind of sexual fantasy. Tiger Woods isn't the only one who does this. A lot of us do it. A lot of us, almost all of us, are caught up into it. We need, he says, Buddhism teaches me to stop following every impulse and to learn restraint. We need this spiritual transformation in our culture. We need this spiritual transformation so that we are a culture that's based on healing, that's based on love, that's based on reconciliation, not pointing the finger at others, but cultural transformation. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Thanks.